this ring and say the man has come around to Friday Night SmackDown! And I know, I know a lot of people have been wondering why I agreed to team with teaming with but when the offer comes to slap the head off damage control when I'm likely going to be carved up on mashed potatoes the answer is always going to be a hell yes and what better place to do that than in Chicago Illinois at war game Oh yeah, now that we have four members and a solid team, War Games is the perfect match for all of us to get our lick back. See, Damage Control, they've been going low for quite some time now. I love y'all. See, Damage Control, they've been going low for quite some time now, right? With two rings, one cage, no disqualifications and weapons. Oh, when damage control goes low, we not just going lower, we going to war. Yeah, yeah, I can barely contain myself just thinking about all the carnage. <laughs> damage control. <laughs> They humiliated me when they held me down and cut my hair. They thought they could break me. But what they really did was change me, yeah. They made me stronger, unpredictable, and unbreakable. And I can't wait. I can't wait to unleash my frenzy of madness on them. <laughs> What shots he said. Yep, exactly. Woo! You see, War Games is a new beginning for us. I mean, all of us. But tomorrow, War Games is the end of damage control. They're here tonight, though. Well, 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 well. Hello to you, too, idiots. You're the best. I never thought I'd see the day that Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch were standing next to each other, fighting the good fight together. over 10 years, right? Over 10 years, that's right. Um, and Charlotte, I mean, every time we had a car ride together, you always had to say a little something about Becky, didn't you? Yeah. I, don't worry, I never told her. Yeah. And Becky, don't look at me like that because you know every you know personal conversation we've had, you always had to do a little dig at Charlotte. I didn't tell her though. So Bianca, I'd be afraid choosing teammates for your team next time because I'm sure the same thing's going on when you're not listening. <laughs> I get it though. I understand. Two egos clashing, fighting to the top. I get it. All right. Being picked last, you were a last resort. 
You're used to being a loser, being picked last like you were in school probably. Look. <laughs> War Games is one of the most brutal matches of all time. And you need a total cohesive unit to be successful in this match. And we all know the only real team walking into war games is damage control. Bailey, you're out here alone, no? Where's damage control? Oh, oh no, I know. Damage control is a real team, right? Where, where are your team members? No, where, where are they? With Oscar? Okay, Bailey, uh, Bailey, you, you think Charlotte and I can't get along? Well, I didn't come to Chicago to talk. I came here looking for a fight. <laughs> so, how about any two of your dopey little team take on the two of us in the main event? And that's exactly what I wanted, Becky, you big old idiot. So we will see you tonight. You know what? I thought we were going to have to wait till War Games to see this, this implode, but it's going to happen tonight. Bailey's stirring the pot. Sounds like we're going to get a little War Games appetizer tonight on SmackDown. Becky and Charlotte, but who from Damage Control will take up the challenge in our main event tonight? Does it really matter? Because no matter which two members of Damage Control step up to the task,